Never in my wildest dreams I'd imagine I would be this lucky standing here today with someone so special, the love of my life. Growing up, I always wanted a love like my parents. <laughs> I wanted a love that could withstand the test of time and that was able to overcome the challenges that life threw its way. As I got older, I realized that my parents' love wasn't something that just came easy or that they stumbled upon. It was something that they woke up every day and choose, chose to work at. T, from the day I met you, I knew you were the person that I wanted to do life with. In the the person that I wanted to choose every single day. I loved and admired your carefree personality and the way that you lived life so unapologetically you. Kayla, I love you for everything you are. You make me better every day and show me what it feels to be loved. T, you're the most caring and thoughtful person I know. You are always busy taking care of everyone else in the background, never seeking any recognition. You would do absolutely anything for anyone, and anyone in this room here today can attest to that. You're the definition of selflessness. And today on your wedding day, I've loved watching you shine in your own spotlight. You deserve every minute of this. of us three. It is now forever. Ash, you and me. When we first met T, we had a feeling she was the one. She let you be you, meet the entire family, and she never ran. T, you are truly the best person, and we are so happy Kayla found you. You make us laugh constantly, and are happy you're part of our group. For those awkward middle school years, if only you had a friend who you could deeply confide in to make you feel a little bit more heard, a little bit more seen, and a little bit understood. And for those times when life is moving so fast and everybody is so busy, if only you had a friend who knew how to slow it down and give you a call just to make sure you were thriving too. Well, not to brag, but I have a friend like that. celebrate one of life's greatest moments to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love. We're here to add our best wishes to the words that you both say today that will unite the two of you in marriage. This union is not entered into lightly, but it's a simple and beautiful reflection of their love and commitment to each other.
I vow to support you in achieving your dreams and goal and no matter how big or small. I vow to always be your biggest cheerleader and celebrate your wins. I need to just take a minute. I'm leaking. <laughs> I vow to always be honest and open with you and to listen the times you need to be heard. I vow to be your rock, your teammate, and partner and build a life. Hold on. <laughs> filled with love and happiness and endless adventures. Kayla, I can't wait to embark on this incredible journey together. I love you so much. <laughs> so I guess this is the part where I make some promises to you. I promise to support you on any and all paths that you choose to take in this life. I promise to always advocate for you. I promise to always be in your corner. I promise to never judge you. Not even when you pick your nose. <laughs> Sometimes eat it, it's disgusting, but I won't touch you. <laughs> I promise to always listen to you and to be a safe space for you to speak freely. I promise to celebrate and enjoy the simple things in life with you. And I promise that I will choose you today and every day from here on out. T, I already know, but I always knew and I promise to always love you too much. <laughs> Authority given me in the province of Ontario, I now pronounce that you are wife and wife, and you make <laughs> When T first started going out with Kayla, she was very shy and very quiet. Over the last few years, she really hasn't changed. She's still <laughs> shy and quiet. She was marrying the complete opposite in Kayla, who's loud and then louder. They say opposites attract, they truly balance each other out. Daffodils on a pretty string, but they won't flower like to Kayla, we would like to welcome you to the Lavoie family. It's too bad, but you're stuck with us now. Kayla, when I first met you, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Being in the beauty industry and seeing your fried blonde hair made me question things. <laughs> but after getting to know you, I quickly saw that I quickly saw what T saw in you. You are every bit as kind and selfless as her. You are a Jill of all trades and a master of all. You are literally good at everything. Oh my tea.